The late Manning Maribel's book on the life of Malcolm X really provides a great context, not just for the life of Malcolm X, but it's a great story as it relates to black American history. One of the more controversial points in the book that so many people have been talking about, unfortunately, is whether Malcolm X had homosexual relationships when he was in his teenage days and running the streets. So many people have denied this over the years. Manning Maribel's book seems to be very detailed in describing some of these relationships. But in the black community particularly, this has led to a large debate as it relates to what is black manhood because for so many of us Malcolm X has been that example of black manhood particularly in hip-hop culture but now people are asking if this is true what does it mean about black manhood was he gay was he gay for pay was he gay for a day does that mean he's no longer a man and this is a question and a dialogue that many of us need to have because it really gets to the core of the fluidity of sexuality over the years. We look at our hip-hop culture where so many people want to talk about no homo, no homo, no homo, but then you also find out that Lil Wayne and Birdman would kiss on the lips. That would be Lil Wayne's manager. Does that make him gay? Does that make him gay for a day, gay for a moment? The question really at the end of the day is, does it matter? Whether you are pro-gay, anti-gay, really at the end of the day, we need to be able to study individuals for who they are and not prop them up as anti-gay, not prop them up as a pro-gay leader. That doesn't do anything for us but keep people further divided. At the end of the day, it's very important for us to understand that sexuality has always been something that has been fluid. There are even stories coming out about Gandhi's relationships with a particular man. Do we just get angry and condemn these things or do we look at them historically and do we ask does it really diminish the greatness that these people have accomplished my belief is no but i also believe that there's so much more in this book than that small period in malcolm x's life that many of us should be understanding because so little is known about this particular man and this is a great book to start getting to know him better as well as get this dialogue going about what sexuality really is